Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Today I want to talk about something supernatural which happens in all plants, which you're very familiar with, is called heliotropism. Now, if you've got uh, pot plants at home and you put them in on the windowsill, you'll notice after a few days that they the, the actual plants move so that they are pointing towards the light, usually towards the sun. That's called heliotropism. Now, the plant that's most famous for this, of course, is the sunflower. Um, I'm going to show you a, f a video uh, with t taken with time-lapse photography of um, sunflowers actually moving throughout the day so that they actually track the sun. Now, this happens uh, because there is a specialised cell just below the bud called a pulvinus. It's called a pulvinus. And uh, those cells are specialised cells which actually expand or contract according to the pressure within them. It's called the turgor pressure. Now these are light sensitive cells which respond to the position of the sun. In other words, the sunflowers and all other plants as well are very, very aware of the position of the sun and they move the whole head of the sunflower towards the sun. This, and uh, not just the actual uh, sunflower itself, but all the leaves as well. You'll notice in your home, at home that the uh, leaves of your house plants are pointed towards the, the outdoor light. Um, this is all because of heliotropism, and it's, it's amazing. It's something that God has built into all plants. Now, here is the point that I wanted to make, is that God has built into us not heliotropism, but the desire to point towards the light. And I'm talking about spiritual light. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. We're called to be disciples of Jesus Christ and to point our whole lives towards Jesus Christ, to point towards the light and away from the darkness. Now we have to do that ourselves, just like the sunflowers, by reorientating our lives and putting God absolutely first on a list of one so that everything, everything else becomes secondary. Other things in our life are very important. Obviously, our family, uh, our children, our jobs, our acquaintances, and all the other things, but all of these must be uh, subservient to, uh, or secondary to actually orientating our life towards God. We must love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and everything about our life must be just like the sunflowers pointing towards the light. Thanks for listening and God bless you.